Welcome back to the Insane Nightmare Survival Guide. Today we are going over all the pistol class weapons in 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 and how to get the most out of them on the hardest difficulty. Pistols are governed by agility and the gunslinger perk. This includes the pipe pistol, the pistol, the submachine gun, the 44 magnum and the desert vulture. Pistols are unique in that they actually have two subclasses which are the 9mm and the 44 caliber. The 9mm are low damage high fire rate weapons which excel in stealth and their ammo is extremely cost effective. 44 weapons are high damage low capacity but are great all rounder weapons at the expense of 44 ammo being the least common of the base ammo types. Both classes have their own skill books and playstyles so I will discuss them separately where possible. But they do share the Gunslinger perk. The Gunslinger perk will give you 50% more damage, 25% faster fire rate, 30% faster reload and the critical damage effect makes your third consecutive shot in a short period of time do double damage. With that out of the way, let's get into more detail about the subclasses. Let's start with the 9mm. The pipe pistol and the pistol are somewhat limited by their low damage and ammo capacity, but the tier 3 SMG is one of the best weapons in the game with its extreme fire rate, solid damage and great ammo capacity. The critical damage effect from the gunslinger perk works really well for the 9mm weapons because you can chain shots together with the SMG and get a substantial boost to your damage if you're accurate enough. The completion bonus of the 9mm weapons skill book, Pistol P, will give you point blank armor penetration and bleed. Point blank in this case is about 3 meters. This very much favours a put the gun in the enemy's mouth and shred them playstyle. The SMG is a fantastic POI clearing weapon, excelling at close quarters combat with its bonus armor, penetration and bleed, as well as it being reasonably useful for stealth if you equip it with a suppressor, being one of the quietest weapons in the game. I really like hip fire, so my setup is usually laser sight, foregrip, suppressor and drum mag, but on horde nights I switch the suppressor out for a full auto trigger group which will give you a decent boost to your fire. Fire rate. Speaking of Horde Knights, the SMG loaded with armor piercing 9mm is a strong Horde Knight weapon that can pop heads extremely quickly. You just have to keep up with the ammo and given that 9mm AP is the cheapest armor piercing ammo type that shouldn't really be hard. Now let's cover the other side of pistols, the 44 guns. The Magnum and the Desert Vulture. These are both governed by Agility and the Gunslinger perk, just like 9mm weapons, but obviously they use a different ammo type and fill a slightly different role. I view 44s a little bit like sniper rifles. They're extremely high damage, a really low ammo capacity, and are really heavily focused around increasing that high damage per shot to a really absurd degree. The critical damage effect from the Gunslinger perk really shows on 44 weapons as they already have damage in the hundreds already, so with every third shot doing double damage along with headshot damage that can be really devastating. Combined with the Magnum Enforcer Volume 3, which makes the last shot on each magazine do double damage, you can really see some high damage hits with these guns. It can bring down a lot of very strong enemies in Insane Nightmare. Because of the last shot doing double damage, it can be a good idea to avoid tactical reloads and always let your 44 weapons drain fully so that you can maximise your damage per shot. On top of this, the completion bonus for Magnum Enforcer will give all 44 ammo target penetration, meaning 44, HP 44 and AP 44 can all hit two targets with one shot, a trait that is usually reserved for armour piercing ammo. You can see how hitting two targets with one shot, doing double damage every three shots and doing double damage on your last shot can be combined together for some insane damage combos if everything aligns correctly. Similar to sniper rifles in that capacity actually, but much better at close range than sniper rifles with less perk investment as no penetrator is required. One thing you should keep in mind is oftentimes the inferior 44 Magnum will actually do more damage than its upgrade, the Desert Vulture. It will fire slower and have less ammo capacity and it can't be upgraded in its ammo capacity, but the small ammo capacity may actually mean it's smarter to use the 44 Magnum over the Desert Vulture in some situations as you'll get that double damage on last shot more often and that last shot will have a slightly higher base damage most of the time. The Desert Vulture can be upgraded to have 13-ish shots in its magazine though, so if you're less accurate or just generally less bothered about getting those insane critical shots, the Vulture can be a better choice. Both weapons can be suppressed, but neither of them will ever be good stealth weapons because they're incredibly loud. Both weapons have incredible hipfire accuracy as well, and because of that I like to double down on it with mods. On my Magnum, I run a laser sight to bring in the hipfire accuracy even more, the muzzle brake to reduce 
reduced recoil, the rad remover because why not, and I oftentimes put a scope on my magnum because the magnum does actually have decent range so it can be used as a pocket sniper when you want to aim in. For the desert vulture I do the same but I take the rad remover off and add an extended magazine. Finally let's cover the ammo. Pistol ammo actually stacks to 300 unlike the other ammo types so it's much more storage efficient than the other ammo. The 9mm ammo is the cheapest ammo in the game costing 1 tip, 1 gunpowder and 1 bullet casing. As with all ammos, the HP ammo is basically pointless to craft. There's a small amount more damage and costs an extra bullet tip, but you're better crafting armor piercing 9mm if you want something that hits harder than basic 9mm. It does cost an extra bullet tip and an extra gunpowder, but it does about 20% more damage and lets you hit 2 targets per hit, as well as penetrating 50% of armor. Naturally, with all the ammo types, you'll need certain pistol peat ranks to craft them, and you'll need the completion bonus to bulk craft them. Bulk crafted ammo is 20% cheaper and you can carry 10 packages of 100 bullets in a stack of bulk crafted ammo. If you keep them stacked after crafting, you can have 1000 bullets in a single storage slot, which isn't bad. 44 ammo is also pretty cheap, costing 1 bullet tip, 2 gunpowder and 1 casing. Now 44 does have HP and AP variants, but I'd actually argue they're both completely unnecessary if you get the Magnum Enforcer skill book, because the completion bonus adds 1 target penetration to 44 and HP. This eliminates the advantage that AP ammo gets in hitting 2 targets with 1 shot and makes crafting armor piercing 44 much less useful in my opinion. So if you have Magnum Enforcer complete and don't care about armor penetration or a minor damage boost at the cost of an extra bullet tip and an extra gunpowder then you can definitely get away with just basic 44 ammo and you'll get collateral hits anyway. I wish the pistols were a bit more interesting to be honest, the rifles have insane collateral target penetration, shotguns have a unique firing style using pellets instead of bullets, or slugs with two target penetration giving them a really good multi-kill potential. And even breaching rounds are kind of cool. Machine guns have commando adrenaline and fury mechanics which let you run infinitely and run faster, along with the concentrated fire mechanic which makes firing in long sustained sustained bursts more effective. The pistols just kinda shoot bullets and do damage. I suppose it's interesting that they have two different kinds, but honestly, pistols are some of the most boring weapons to use in my opinion. That said, they are still very effective, just a bit flavourless. But maybe that's just my thousands of hours and general apathy towards the game talking. Let me know down in the comments which you prefer by the way, the 9mm or the 44s. And do you prefer the Magnum or the Vulture? Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making these videos possible and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.